The state government has announced it will help fund the installation of 13 new CCTV cameras across Kiama. While some civil libertarians say the cameras are an invasion of privacy, residents and businesses support the rollout. Kiama Council had already committed $80,000 to the project and this was the final piece it needed. Today I'm delighted to be able to announce that the New South Wales Government will provide $50,000 towards the CCTV initiative uh, that Kiama Council are pursuing. We should get uh, about 13, we think, uh, cameras, uh, very high-tech cameras in the area. Using the NBN's faster Wi-Fi, the cameras will provide a higher quality image, sending a live feed to local police. If you come here to do the wrong thing, there is a very, very good chance you'll be caught. Changes in the Privacy Act will ensure a smoother rollout than in the Shoalhaven, which saw CCTV cameras temporarily turned off after residents complained. There's going to be a memorandum of understanding with the um, Oak Flats Police, the local area command, where they're, they're passively monitored. So nobody will have access to any images other than the police. Most have welcomed the announcement. I think it's a very good idea. It doesn't matter how quiet Kama is at times, it can still be quite dangerous. There are privacy issues, but um, I think it's a good idea. I think if you've got nothing to hide, you know, there's no problem. I think it would be great, good security and whatnot, so it would be good for the area. None more so than local businesses. Many already forced to install their own cameras after a spate of break-ins. It'll help with the security around here, especially when we're not here. There's a watchful eye looking out for every, anyone doing the wrong thing. Council say the cameras will be installed by May next year and, coming with them, free public Wi-Fi for the Kiama CBD. Rob Morrison, Wind News.